what's up guys i hope you're having a blessed and fantastic day let's see what we got going on in this energy please take the messages that closely resonate with you and your situation and leave what doesn't at hell's gates okay my alchemist and don't forget we stay cute speak the truth and transmute all negative energy Ashe. but you guys are having a blessed and fantastic day let's see what we got going on here in this reading the reading pertaining to the woman in the woodlands, guys, I am going to do a part two for that one. I have to be honest, towards the end of the reading, guys, it really did get very heavy. I felt multiple different energies piercing through it, and the main woman that I was picking up in that reading, her energy became fainter and fainter. It was like her voice was drowning out, surrounding other energies or other energies surrounding her. I feel like she's calling out for help here because her soul is lost somewhere. I don't feel like where her physical, spiritual body, should I say, guys, her physical body is lost on this realm. It, it hasn't been discovered yet. It's in an undisclosed location, but it's almost like her spiritual body is resonating with her physical body. Her spiritual body is also lost. So I don't feel like she's completely in the afterlife. I feel like she's in some form of twilight zone. But there's some form of energies or entities surrounding her. And it's like they're trying to lead her into some form of realm. Another realm here to try and trap her. And I feel like this is why she needs help. So I will be consulting with my guides on how I can further protect my energy when I do channel those type of messages. And I will be doing a part two for that, guys, because... There's definitely more energy that needs to be pulled in regard to that situation. Uh, and obviously, that woman most definitely needs help. Something isn't right here, okay? So I did have to tap out of that reading, guys. And funny enough, just as I finished saying something very significant, it was free, free, free at the end. So definitely a very powerful message there. Let's see what else we got going on in this reading, guys. See what Spirit wants you to know and or be aware of. There's so much going on in their energy, guys. So, so much. That eclipse was no joke. Portals being closed and portals also opening. <sighs> we got so much work to do here, Alchemist. So we've got child conceived from incest. All right, we tapped into this in another reading. We have knew you weren't normal. A spirit befriended you as a child. All right, so I'm gonna leave this child conceived from incest card on the side, guys. Let's tap into some fresh energy in this reading. I'm, I'm not trying to get into anything deep now. <laughs> it's late at night and I wanna sleep. Please, please spirit. All right, so we have knew you weren't normal. A spirit you befriended as a child and we have left you something. Ooh. A spirit you befriended as a child left you something. All right. Let's see what we got going on in this energy alchemist. in this energy peace spirit we have deep dark sea mermaid find solutions in the unknown places in the darkness so you could have been a child here who was afraid of the dark find solutions in unknown places in the darkness you needing to tread through something here to see the light treading through darkness here Trust and have confidence, you can achieve great things. Whoa. We've got the black cat here, Alchemist. Lost magic, atonement and rebalance. Lost magic. Crows being very significant here. We've got orca magic at the back of the deck. The Akashic libraries are open. This message has been coming out quite a bit here, Alchemist. 
something has been opened to you, left you something. I feel like this has something to do with some form of spiritual gift here. Some form of spiritual gift, a spirit you befriended as a child here is given to you or left to you here. Lost magic. Something here that can help rebalance you. Birds are your messengers. Give me some more energy on this please for it. Wow. We got sacral, sacred beetle armor. You have a mighty shield. I just said sacral there, so your sacral chakra could be very significant. Little Owlin, wisdom as light as a feather. You have a mighty shield and wisdom as light as a feather. Do you definitely have a spirit here that's protecting you? A spirit you befriended as a child. This person here is also pouring wisdom and knowledge here into you. Find solutions in the unknown places. Once upon a mid midnight dreary. There could be a song you used to sing when you were a child. Or something here that you used to hum. Alright. We got Quetzal. I don't know how to say that name, guys. Is that Quetzalcoatl? I don't know, y'all. And the priestess of time. The time has come. The time to act is now. The delicate fairy and her ferrets. Change is natural, good, and yes, it can hurt. Okay, Alchemist, something here falling apart. But it feels like someone here is gifting you something. A mighty shield as things around you fall apart to protect you here. You being protected here through this change. Yes, change can hurt, but change here is needed. It's necessary. The time has come. The time to act is now. You have been given the knowledge here and the wisdom to use this to bring about some form of change. You are protected through this. You have a mighty shield. It is time for you to find solutions in the unknown places, in the darkness. It's almost like spirit calling for you here to go into the darkness and shine your light here on things. Trusting and believing and having confidence that you are protected here through whatever you are going through and whatever you are illuminating. A loyal guardian is protecting you. A magical protector is there for you, alchemist. You are very much protected. This could even be an animal. For some of you, a spirit animal guiding you, protecting you. This could be an animal that you had when you were a child. This could be a dog or this could even be a cat. We did have the black cat there. Lost magic, something here that you lost. I'm also picking up some form of gift that you lost here in a past life. Something being gifted to you. What else, please, spirit? You've got Little Red Riding Hood. I am not a victim. Someone trying to put you down here. Someone trying to bully you. Someone trying to make you their victim here. But someone is gifting you with this energy of strength, courage. Power, trust, faith, knowledge, wisdom. You have a spirit here that is guarding you, protecting you here and filling you up with so much insight. They want you to break out of this victim mentality. If this is the mentality that you have been in, you are not a victim. You are a survivor. You are a warrior and you are protected. You are someone who's very knowledgeable. You hold a lot of wisdom. And it feels like whoever has been targeting you this person or these people knew you weren't normal. So it's like they've been trying to test you to see how far they can pull your strings. Mm -hmm. And Spirit says the time has come. The time is to act now. It's like a grand reveal, Alchemist. You've been revealed here. Little Red, Red Riding Hood is taking her hood off. She ain't got the hood because she in the hood. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Alchemist? The fairy ring, knee skills, advanced training and rapid movement, rapid growth of changes ahead. Something coming in quickly here. 
You inspire trust and confidence. You're having many gifts coming into you and a lot of protection here also coming into you. Spirit saying you can achieve great things if you believe and trust in yourself and have confidence here. All right. That's beautiful energy, Alchemist. We've got the Golden Phoenix. Something you thought finished burst back into life. Something you thought you lost here comes rushing back into your life. This is really beautiful energy. Miss Spiderweb, reconsider your alliances and make new connections. A time to say goodbye. Something is about to end for now. It feels like a spirit guide that you've had here since you were a child. Some form of spirit that's been guiding you and protecting you here needs to depart for now. Something is leaving you, but before it leaves you, it wants to gift you something. It's just sad. Oh, man. New skills, advanced training and rapid movements. It's like a spirit guide watching you take off your training wheels and you soaring off on your bike here without the training wheels and them just being so proud and then you look back and you see they ain't even standing there anymore that's really sad man but they're still watching but they ain't gonna be around as much as they've been around souls are always needed we have many different timelines going on simultaneously even as our current timeline is going on so souls are always going treading through different timelines different portals different forms of existences what you are in this lifetime you may not be in the next lifetime what you are in this lifetime you may not have been in a previous lifetime so it's like a continuous i want to say continuous cycle of existence infinite existence so the energies around us they can only be around us for so long before they need to go elsewhere but when you look at it from a high perspective guys we are all one so whether together or apart we are always together and i think that is really beautiful energy and maybe this is something your guides want you to get into the the mindset of even though they might not always be around you you have that knowledge wisdom as light as a feather you are protected you have a mighty shield okay spirit wants you to act now Put your abilities here to, to use. You are not a victim anymore. You are a survivor. It's like that you've proven yourself to them. Now they want to see you go. Not go to leave, but they want to see you go. Go out into the world and show the world what you're made of. Find solutions in the unknown places. You need them to get out of your comfort zone and find solutions here. Use your light to shine on the darkness. Change is good, and yes, it can hurt. Coming out of your comfort zone can hurt. The change can be a bit uncomfortable, but it's something here that needs to be done so that you can flourish, okay? Little wolf girl, it's all right to be alone, okay, guys? That's what your guides are trying to say to you. And I feel like in a way, maybe you've always felt alone. Maybe you've never been around people in the physical sense. You could be someone who's quite introverted. Or maybe whenever you were around people, they acted a certain way towards you. Your light irritated their demons in some form of way. And they end up mistreating you. Alright, it is alright to be alone. But in a way, you were never really alone. Spiritually, you were very much guarded and protected by many magical and mystic beings. And it just seems like one specific energy here. And I feel like this energy that I'm picking up has played a very significant role here in you growing up. It has been with you for a very long time. This one specific energy needs to go on. It needs to go forth here, either into a new life or into a new, a new phase of existence. All right. And they just want to make sure that you are OK. You are OK with learning to be alone because you have everything gifted here to you okay we have alice in the sea of tears cast away out of your depth and feeling abandoned so internally within your soul you could be feeling like you've lost something or you're grieving something 
some form of premature grief that you're feeling here. Some form of energy is about to be released from you. And your guides are asking you to prepare yourself. This may hurt you, but there's something that needs to go here so you can flow. All right. And this is not being done to hurt you or to punish you. This is actually being done to assist you because you've been in your comfort zone here for too long. And spirit wants to launch you out of that comfort zone. All right. So something here must be taken. Something must be lost here. And I feel like this is going to trigger you here into another awakening. Okay, guys. Let's get these last cards. We got strange companions in stranger places. Challenges, use your imagination. Strange companion in stranger places here. What you lose somewhere, you will gain elsewhere. We've got Snake Princess, the Serpentine Path to Power. You being launched here on a path to power. So usually, guys, you know when you're about to go through a season of elevation, many things around you start falling apart. Things start being stripped away from you. And it almost does feel like you're losing out on a lot of things, but you're only losing what no longer serves you or what no, long, no longer needs to be in your life. Right, right now, your guys are trying to put you on a path to power. And in order for you to be on this path, a lot of things here need to be stripped away. Okay, we've got Beauty and the Beast. You need some space here in a relationship. So it almost feels like this spirit here wants to give you space so that you can flourish. They, they want to stop, I don't know, should I say babying? They want to stop babying you, but it's like not to say they're going to stop protecting you, but they want to see you use your gifts, your abilities here to protect yourself because you have those gifts and you have those abilities. And when we come into this realm, we all do catch a very mighty case of amnesia and forget a lot of things about our previous life. Most people end up remembering, most people do not, most people don't even believe in those things, you know, to each of their own alchemists. But it's like you have forgotten who you once were. You ain't no victim. You a beast, baby. And look at that. You are a wolf here protecting you. You've got many things protecting you. Beauty and the beast. Even though the beast is close enough to her, not enough to harm her. So you have the power here to control something. But it could be you're at a phase in your life here where you just feel very powerless. And your spirit guides are asking you here to release your power. You aren't normal, but this is in a very majestical sense. You need to remember that. Okay. Hmm. Let me see what else we got popping in this energy. Being of service at the back of the deck here, Alchemist. You need to remember your power. You are a being of service. All right. We've got restraint or the end of conflict. Something here needing to fall apart. Many things here collapsing around you. Removal of obstacles, confirmation. You've got celebration and merriment. You being celebrated here. You have grown. This is a spirit that's been with you here since you were a child. And you are now a grown adult. They've seen you grow here into this mature being. They are celebrating you. And they feel like you have reached a stage in your life here where you are able to go forth here without them. Okay. For some of you, I feel like this could even be a past life soulmate here. Something from a past life that has been surrounding you, protecting you here, whilst you have been on this realm. Mm -hmm. Destruction of enemies, alchemists, round of a celebration and merriment. Yep, and we've got Nephis at the back of the deck, security. You are secure. You are protected here. Good things are coming into your life and what's coming into your life is protected here too. It's secure. 
So you don't need to feel powerless and you don't need to worry here about your new beginning. Just let go. Just let go. Reclaim your power here. Remember who you are. We've got sowing seeds here, alchemist. Sow new seeds here. New hobbies, new habits, new places, new environment, new in, new in, <laughs> new things. Well, yeah, you do need new things, guys. New in, new in. I was about to, I don't, that doesn't make no sense, but that's what I was just about to say. <laughs> new in, new in. We've got illumination and revelation. New in, new in. <laughs> All right, that wasn't that funny. Let me chill. <laughs> new in, new in. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I just laugh at dumb shit. <laughs> We've got being of service here, Alchemist. Restraint or the end of conflict. Whatever has been holding you back here, they have their hands bound behind them, is being removed here. Destruction of en enemies, removal of obstacles, you are a being of service. The natural world needs you. Your gifts, your abilities here are needed on this realm. Yeah, we've got new beginnings and jubilation. Mm-hmm. Damn. Osiris just landed around on top of destruction of enemies. Damn, Alchemist. This ain't good for this, 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 this ain't good. <laughs> oh, Lord. This ain't good for this. This ain't good for this. No. I knew I was feeling some shit earlier on. I knew. Yeah, I almost lost my chill of thoughts down so they are. When Osiris comes out in this reading of destruction of enemies, <laughs> yeah, it's about to get very messy for your enemies. Very messy. I'm sorry y'all about that little remix. This, 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 this. Yeah, yeah. This, this, this is serious. Very serious. We've got spiritual struggles here, Alchemist. Something has been blocking you from fulfilling your path and your destiny. It's almost like it's invoked your ancient ancestors here to come through and assist in clearing this energy so that you can go through on this path. Restraint and the ending of conflict. Whatever's been holding you back here being removed by force. You need to reclaim your power. You need to reclaim your wisdom. So in other words, your ancestors, your angels and your guides are saying... Stop playing with me. You really forgot who you were. Come and see this. Look, 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 look at this motherfucker right here. He don't even know who he is. <laughs> look at this one right here. You did all this wild shit in the past life and you don't even know who you are. Baby, you better wake up. You're a whole warrior in this beat. You're a whole warrior in this beat. Okay? Conflict and war. You are a whole warrior in this B. You weren't even the conflict alchemist. You were the whole damn war. Yeah. I guess this realm, it really does take a toll on you guys. It, am I saying? It's taking a toll on me too. It's so hard living and existing. <laughs> Let me chill, y'all. It's so hard living and existing. This realm ain't for the faint-hearted. No, no, no. This realm ain't for the faint-hearted, y'all. You need to remember who you are. I mean, it can get hard sometimes. I'll be having my moments. Don't worry, your ancestors had their moments too, you know. Respect and admiration. That landed around top of destruction of enemies. So in the past year, you were someone who was highly respected and admired. Of course, no, this is what I'm saying. You were a warrior. 
You went out here slashing, slashing people's heads off, yo. Putting your foot on people's necks. Blowing them up. Okay, let me, let's not go that far. But you probably were. Do you know what it says on top of respect and admiration, Alchemist? It says the thousands. You see it? It says the thousands. You slayed thousands. So don't let the one, the two, the three, the four, the five, whoever has been playing with you, playing with your name, playing with your energy within this lifetime, trying to create any form of blockages and obstacles for you, they can't do shite. You have taken down thousands. You're not the one or the two. <laughs> Why am I goofy like, you know, yo, you know what I'm saying? You ain't the one and you ain't the two. Wait, so if, if you ain't the one or the two, what are you then? Why do they say that? Why are they always saying that? I ain't the one or the two. So what are they then? It's got me out here saying dumb shit. <laughs> Yo, I can't even make it up. Destruction of enemy, getting a lot of action over here. Removal of obstacles. The spirits ain't playing about you, but you need to not be playing about you too. You know? Isis, divine goddess of Egypt, salvation. You are resurrected. Do you know what they did to my father? They chopped his body up and they threw him in the river. And even after that, he still revived. <laughs> I'm just saying, Alchemist. You are unkillable. You are invincible. You are immortal spiritually. I don't know about physically, y'all. I wouldn't even try it, you know. <laughs> life is precious. YOLO! Even though you don't really only get one life, you, you get a good couple of thousands and thousands and thousands and, and thousands more. But, you know, it's a human thing. They say a lot of weird things that don't make a lot of sense. Sadly, in this lifetime, I am one of them. But you are unbreakable. That's what I'm trying to say here with this resurrection alchemist. You are unbreakable. If or now you have had many people oppose you and try and break you down and try and take you out and yet you are still here standing, what does that make you? A bionic man? A bionic woman? A magical being? Illumination and revelation here. You're going to see the destruction of your enemies. Is what your ancestors are saying because this destruction of enemies could begin a lot of action respect and admiration illumination and revelation all right truth and justice balance here being restored mm -mm. construction and building Your gifts here needing to advance. You building on your gifts here. Now, guys, this might sound very controversial, but what better way to advance your skills, your gifts and your knowledge than having low-level peasants, such as the ones you have encountered within this lifetime, attack you? You know? How would you know how to overcome their attacks if they didn't attack you? You see what I'm saying? So, your enemies here have been used as a device to help you excel and step into your path. But are you excelling and have you stepped into your path here? Is the question. Because you have been left many things. But these many things that have been left to you need to be claimed by you. They need to be received. Are you receiving them? Or are you releasing them? Tree of life and wisdom. What are you doing with this knowledge and wisdom that's coming into you? How are you using this to protect yourself? Are you still living in the energy of fear that these mere peasants have fed into you here? Possibly since you were a child. Or have you stepped into your own power where you are fearless? It's 
So I'm, I'm serious now, yeah. I ain't, I ain't joking around no more, see. We've got love and romance. On top of removal of obstacles, so a past life soulmate could be very significant here. Yeah. Maybe this person has now reincarnated into a new life alchemist and they're no lo longer able to watch you, you know. You gotta have a life too. But they was gonna be there for you. Okay, yeah, rest and repose. Someone needs to get their rest. All right, alchemist, we got abundance there. Nephis security. Goddess of mourning and funerals. Or well, something here is about to be put to rest. Or well, someone is about to be put to rest. Left you something. Someone's given you something. This could be the gift of your enemy's head. Your gifts actually coming back into your life as well. Amazing things. And when they're done with all these gifts, they're going back into their tomb. Or into a new life. Maybe they're tuned though. Alright guys. So I'm going to leave the message there y'all. 